Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. And, you know, the Sergey Kovalev versus Canelo Alvarez fight could lead into an Andre Ward fight. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, some recent statements came out from Virgil Hunter stating that it'll take 30 to 40 million dollars is what's needed to get Andre Ward to fight the winner of Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Kovalev. And this is direct statement. And he states, I don't think there's nothing out there that could entice him to come back and fight the winner of either guy it would have to be something really stupid a really stupid offer i think he would consider it um it would have to get up to maybe 30 or 40 million um for me to even suggest that to him look you should take this fight now the reason why i think that that's very probable is because you have to remember the zone offered deontay wilder 20 million dollars just to fight dominic brazil why not double that to fight a guy, you know, to have two of the biggest stars in boxing, a Hall of Famer in the face of boxing face off and what would be a super mega fight. Obviously, the fight of the year, the fight of the last 10 years. This would be a huge, huge event. Why not pay more for that fight? Because the zone is interested in super fights. You see, the zone was trying bad to make Joshua Wilder and they even offered Wilder a hundred and twenty million dollar contract in which he rejected. Why not offer? you know Andre Ward a two fight contract where he can take a tune up and then Canelo Alvarez 30 40 50 million dollars that would make plenty of sense because you've seen the zone throw around money they've given Triple G upwards of almost 100 million they've given Canelo Alvarez 365 million so they're not cheap they have the money and like Eddie Hearn says they have very deep pockets but let's keep it going you know even oscar de la hoya has commented on this earlier this year as well saying that canelo alvarez is not afraid of sergey kovalev andre ward or triple g and this is when canelo alvarez had not selected an opponent as of yet um for these type of fights and you know it's interesting that he picks sergey kovalev and this is a direct statement about canelo he said canelo's in the driver's seat he can fight anybody from 175 all the way down to 160 including andre ward if he wants to call him out including kovalev left including unifying the titles and you know canelo alvarez he doesn't really call out people but i tell you what if he called out a guy like andre ward the world would definitely be listening and watching and i think that's a challenge andre ward would definitely consider especially if the money's right and that's coming all the way from virgil hunter then you take a look at statements made by Andre Ward, and he was adamant Canelo Alvarez would not dare call him out if he defeats Sergey Kovalev, and that's a very interesting thing to state. You know, he said he wouldn't do that and call me out. There's a difference between calling out Kovalev and calling me out. I'm the man who beat Kovalev. Don't you all remember? Twice. And so that's a very interesting statement as well. So it's almost like an indirect challenge to Canelo. Like, you know, I'm the type of guy that you wouldn't dare call out. And you know, you see Canelo Alvarez fears no challenge. They said he wouldn't fight Triple G, he fought Triple G. He fought Floyd Mayweather when he wasn't experienced, you know, and he fought and he's taken on a Sergey Kovalev fight when people said that was crazy. You see Kovalev always continuously, you know, rises to the occasion, takes the big fights, takes the fights when people don't think that he can win or when he's not ready. And he continues to prove credits wrong, you know, um, by beating Triple G, by taking the Kovalev fight, by even taking the Mayweather fight so early in his career. The fact that Canelo Alvarez is willing to step up and have the big fights, win, lose, or draw, is something you have to commend. And the fact that Andre Ward seems to be somewhat daring him um, to saying that you know he wouldn't do it when you know that canelo alvarez is an elite level fighter he's the type of guy that welcomes a challenge and you know i think canelo alvarez would welcome that opportunity and that's why it's being talked about so much and then you see andre ward even stating you know a lot of fanboys are going to say canelo has no chance against ward canelo has no chance against ward and that's how you know they're fanboys because they don't know anything about boxing even andre ward says he can see uh canelo alvarez stopping sergey kovalev and this is the same Sergey Kovalev that arguably beat Andre Ward in the first fight. Most people had, you know, Sergey Kovalev winning that first fight. Most people had the knockdown being a key difference in that fight. And so you have to be honest and unbiased when you analyze it. If you haven't seen the fight, go watch it because it was a very good fight. And the first fight was nothing like the second. Andre Ward 
struggled more in that fight than he has in any other fight in his career but it was a fantastic fight a very close fight and you could have typically had either guy winning i had kovalev edging that first fight and then you see kovalev you know when asked about uh canelo alvarez and andre ward he stated canelo alvarez is 100 percent a better fighter than andre ward and this is his exact statements he said 100 percent because maybe ward was a better super middleweight but not at a light heavyweight. Canelo's fighting everybody, you know, like everybody. He has stamina, he has good legs, speed, IQ. He has everything. And that's a very good statement by Sergey Kovalev in regards to Canelo Alvarez because he's absolutely right in regards to Canelo Alvarez has a lot of skill sets. Uh, Andre Ward has been out of the ring for a few years. So, of course, that'll give some advantages to Canelo Alvarez. I think one of the key advantages to this fight is where the weight would be fought at. Would they fight at 175? 168 or 160 what weight will they fight at i think 168 would probably be the most reasonable weight for both of these guys to fight at that's where andre ward had a vast majority of success in his career but at the same time canelo alvarez is a fighter who should be at 160 so the fact that canelo alvarez can fight between 160 and 175 168 makes the most sense um if you know, Andre Ward comes back and they fight at 168. I would have to favor Canelo Alvarez. He's a younger, fresher fighter he's in his prime. He's been taking on elite level opponent after elite level opponent. He's been taking on enormous challenges. And, you know, even with the tune up fight, I would favor Canelo Alvarez. I just simply think that he would have the ability to edge it with speed, uh, IQ, stamina, all the things that, you know, a lot of people say he cannot beat Andre Ward at is because Andre Ward has his, he's an elite level fighter I don't think it'll be easy I think it'll be close but because of the weight because of the age because of where they are in their respective careers because Andre Ward has been away from the ring for so long you have to favor Canelo Alvarez I think pretty much anyone would and then not only that if you look at the experience and the resume of both guys you see Canelo has fought the better level of competition yes both of these guys are going to fight Sergey Kovalev but th then on the other end you've seen that Canelo has already fought guys like Danny Jacobs, Gennady Golovkin twice, Miguel Cotto, it is Landy Lotta, Floyd Mayweather, Shane Mosley. You got to understand that Canelo Alvarez has one of the best resumes in boxing. He's right now, if he retired, he'd be a no doubt Hall of Famer. You have to be honest and unbiased when you analyze the situation. And at this stage in the game, Canelo Alvarez would have to be a hands on favorite to beat Andre Ward. I'm not saying he would. I think it'll be a very difficult fight. And Andre Ward would definitely have a huge chance to beat and upset Canelo Alvarez and get the victory because he's a naturally bigger fighter he has a lot of experience he's elite level and you know he's one of the best we've ever seen he's a hall of famer so you have to give andre ward all the credit in the world i think it's close to a 50 50 fighter you can get um, but at the same time i would slightly edge canelo based on the activity based on the levels of competition based on the resume based on you know the fact that canelo alvarez would have certain advantages like the speed and the weight going in to this fight and you know Andre Ward we don't know what he's like especially since he's been away from the ring all this time we don't know if he still has it, if he still has his timing down we don't know if one tune-up fight would get him right so we would have to favor Canelo Alvarez but at this point you know we're still waiting to see if that fight happens but all the indicators are pointing that it could be a real possibility once again unbiased as always just the IBFP please share like and you must absolutely subscribe